Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another DIY. I'm gonna do the spark plugs. I took off the seat already. So you guys, if you guys have an 08 Jigzer, you guys could um, kind of relate to the process here. So there's two bolts here for the seat. There's one there and then there's one here and the seat comes right off. And then you're gonna find the rod for the gas tank. It's gonna be back in here. So you prop that up really quick. So the air box was in here. I know you guys didn't see the process. I just wanted to do it really quick. Uh, so for the to removing the air box, there's three hoses. There's one here. There's another one over here. They're all connected to that to the air box, and it has a plug. Took that out. And there's one more all the way down here, which I tucked in in there um, to remove the air box. That's three of that, and then one little switch. Also, um, I removed those little plugs in here. You gotta put it through here an eight inch uh, Phillips screwdriver to uh, loosen up some uh, some clamps. Eight inch uh, screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver to uh, remove or not remove them, but loosen them up. Uh, they usually they sit in here like that. So from here, from in this little hole there. When once the air box is on, it's kind of like impossible to get to. That's why you need a eight inch uh, Phillips screwdriver to loosen that up. There's the uh, four all total, which um, kind of hold down the air box. So after you get this one here, you kind of have to like wiggle yourself in there with the um, Phillips to get this one, and then you have to go to the other side. And then there's two more on that side. So let me show you really quick. So over here is the same thing. There's a little hole there. And then there's two other clamps here and here. I just took them off because I don't want to lose them or having them fall inside. Sorry if it's a little bit too dark in here. There's no light. There's four spark plugs in here. There's one here I removed. There's one here I removed the little cable that's connected to the spark plug. Sorry if my hands giving shadow, I'll just do it from up here. So there's another one here and then another one here. And there's one way back there. So I just unplugged that so I had it all ready. So let me see if I can set up the camera so I can start um, removing the old spark plugs. We'll start with this one. Already got these loose. So what I noticed I had trouble with this part right here. Uh, when I was pulling it out, this was staying back. So what you want to do is make sure you kind of pull this together along with with this piece right here. So I'll put it aside and try to keep them um, organized. Just make sure if you take that one from there, make sure you put it that one back just in case if there's a difference on there, I, which I highly doubt it. There we go. I think I got it. We got the spark plug. Finally, you guys can see it's really burned out right there. Let me just show you guys how bad it almost looks rusted from up here. And the top part there. I mean, it's pretty bad. I'm sure it wasn't uh, replaced. And I'll put in the description below. I'll put how often you're supposed to change them. So now we're gonna move on to this one. This is the new one here. Brand spanking new. Is a pretty much is the same one, NGK. I got the iridium. So you just gotta find out which um, spark plug goes with your bike. So yeah, let's drop this bad boy. These already come measured to the point, but if you wanna double check. You get your own measurement there, but they, they come right how they should. So let me drop that one in there. So the direction says you just want to hand tight 
and then half a turn on the wrench so it should be in it's still not hand tight all the way so you just gotta make sure that's fully in there so I think that's hand tight right there the spark plug is in there so yep it's hand tight so one thing we're gonna get the wrench and we're gonna do half of the turn so you got the wrench here so just make sure you do half of the turn and nothing more you can always get a torque wrench and just um, tie it that way so you could just have a peace of mind um, I don't have mine but the directions on the spark plugs are pretty simple just hand tight and then half a turn on with the wrench and you should be good you don't want it too tight either so that's pretty good it's nice and firm in there you don't want to force it to where it breaks and all right we're gonna finish the vlog um, I finally got the air filter in I had to wait almost like a week or so if not longer they lost the first shipment they resend it so now I'm gonna finish the spark plug that I gotta finish because uh, the battery died last video and then we're gonna put the air box again and I'll show you how I'm gonna it's easy how to install the air, air filter on there and that's pretty much it you gotta hand tight first if there's hand tight you you gotta make sure it goes in hand tight first So we got the half a turn. Just hit that half a turn right there and you should be good. So after that you put this back. You can connect it all back right now. So let me show you. I'm gonna double check this to the bottom. I'm on four. Plug it back in. Got that one. Got this one. Disconnected this one so just so I could get more space to work around the stuff. And I disconnected the hose right here. I'm gonna bring it back. Connected all the four spark plug coils. I'll double check on what they're called. And this, I'll bring the air filter right now and reconnect it because I finally got the air filter back. So let's do that right now. Alright, so I got my air filter box. I'm gonna clean it up really quick. I took out the old air filter, KNN. So this is washable, but I just bought a new one. I didn't know which one it had until I opened it. I found out. Well, it's pretty dirty. Um, I could leave it for the next time. I can clean it and the new one together. But for now, we're gonna put the new one. I'm gonna clean this up really quick and then close it and put it back on there. So I got the new air filter right here. So you could just find this was placed like that. I just took that out. So we're gonna put it the same way. And it comes pre-looted already, you can tell. We're oiled. So just smack it on there and you're good to go. on there right properly I'll close it up and I didn't show you guys when I took it out but it has 11 screws 
So let me get that and put that back on really quick. So I don't know if you guys can see really clear. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna be able to do it freehand because I gotta hold the camera in one hand. There's this end that connects to this thing right here, little plug. And then you have one hose here on the top. And then the little hose. Oh another hose down here down below. So that hose goes goes in here. And one on the other side. So the other hose right here. So let me put that back on there and then I'll get back to you guys. All right, it's a quick update. Sorry, I couldn't record. I got the hoses. Got the other one down here. And then I got the plug in there. All the screws are back on. So I got this third hose in there. I gotta get under there to where I gotta tighten up the screws. You can see that screw in there. There's four of those. Have you seen the Earlier, I explained that you gotta unloosen four like rings, like some clamps that hold down the airbox. And then, so there's four, so I'm gonna get that done right now, really quick. And then we'll start her up right now. Alright, so she's all done. So, the moment of truth, let's start her up. I haven't turned her on for maybe like a week or two because of the rain. But let's see how the new spark plugs work. And I might take it out for a spin right now. it up right now all right feels good I would definitely feel a little different like it it takes off right away So that, that's a big difference right there. He's probably like, what a squid. I'm like literally still in my work clothes. Oh, hell yeah. Feels good. I just gotta figure out, I kinda was hearing this, it wasn't the fan on, here let me close my vent so I can talk. So I was hearing the, like a fan, but it wasn't the fan, like a fan noise and I was thinking the air box, cause it has like two little um, like tubes that stick out, so where the air could run in, I was hearing like this, like vacuum noise, kinda like sucking in air or some, some kinda noise like that. So I wasn't sure, but I, I made sure that I um, installed it nice and uh, all the clamps are, are nice and tight. But anyways, that's about it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm going to be doing uh, radiator coolant. I'm going to be flushing it and putting some new one. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Right safe. Peace. Smoking legal. legal I got more slaps than the Beatles, Beatles.